so friends uh, you can see this is the code HTML code and this is the TS code so let's first check the demo so this is the page uh, this is the result of whole code and you can see in first select tag the front end is selected and based on first selection the frameworks is binded here angular react jquery bootstrap and based on second selection uh, framework change uh, it's bound to some other uh, framework c sharp java php node change so basic cause ba basically i want to explain how we can switch to uh, another data by the selection of first select tag so whenever this select tag will be changed uh, data will be populated accordingly in the frameworks tag select tag so let's check the code so this is the our ts file and you can see we define the object this object is the base uh, for the whole page so you can see in this object we have front end we have back end h2 keys and each two key have some array for front end we have this array uh, angular react jquery bootstrap and for backend we have this array so this is the object and let's define a variable uh, property keys of type string uh, array and assign it to as empty we will change its value inside ng on in it and there is selected key selected key is basically represent the default selection of the first select tag uh, in this you can see default selection is front end so this selected key is used to bind as front end when the app loads and frameworks is the array uh, it is sliced to the empty array its type of a string array and framework array is basically define this second tag array means from this is the whole the content of this frameworks array so it will be changed accordingly based on the selection and selected framework is basically the default selection of second tag in this you can see the default selection is angular so this represent the selected framework now let's check the ng on it so ng on it is called when the app loads so when the app loads this ng on it is fired and this dot keys this dot keys will assign to the proper keys array of this object so we just call object dot keys and we pass the this object as a parameter uh, like this and this return the the string array of the keys so it returns basically array of two element front end and back end and it assigned to the keys array and uh, so the selected key will be the first element of the keys array as you can see in the code and frameworks is the basically we choose the selected key uh, let's say selected key is the front end and we bind uh, front end inside object and it turns it's uh, definitely returns a array and that it array will be bind to the frameworks property so framework is bind this way on the app loads and the selected framework is the first element of the frameworks array so let's say let's let's say we change something in the first select tag we change here let's say we change something here and when whenever it change uh, this method will be called on change and based on this selected selected value of the first select tag uh, we bind the frameworks array like this we just use the object uh, parent object main object and we pass the selected key and this returns the array so this will be assigned to the framework array and absolutely selected framework is the first element of the framework array so on change this will be fired so you can see this is the first select tag and this will be the second select tag which we have to populate it based on first select tag selection so you can see in this first select tag there is on change method 
and change so whenever something changes it call the on change method and also we bind the keys by using ng4 uh, to populate the data and in the second tag you can use ng model as selected framework and we bind the frameworks array using ng4 uh, in this so this is the html and this is the ts hope you understand uh, if you like this please subscribe the channel like the video we'll back soon with some other video thank you